Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the IX Homegrown save. A little bit of an explanation from what's sort of been happening. I've sort of had the... Probably been, what, two weeks since I've last uploaded? You would have seen yesterday's episode, which I already had pre-recorded anyway. But I've had some issues I needed to work out, and I just did not have the time. Two new jobs, literally no, no time whatsoever to... Record and upload videos, basically. So, it's all sort of happened in a whirlwind of about two days back then and it was like wow okay and it sort of just spiraled and I just couldn't find any time to do this so it's was like but back now I'm going to try and get quite a few recorded in the next week or so and try and actually build up and actually have some more episodes for you guys and really let's jump into this because I can't remember where we last left off but I think we played the start of the season against the test maybe I know we were jumping eight games ahead and we're going to play the second Champions League group stage game and the Go Ahead Eagles game so let's jump into that and see how we've gotten on because we had a lot of injuries at the start of last episode so we'll run through this now right since last episode I'm going to go from the from the, the test game just because it's there because I can't remember what we did NEC we beat 2-0 they got had an own goal and Van Beek Nicked one there. Helmstead Sport is a new team that came up last. Excuse me, last season. And sixth in junior. Okay, they finished sixth and came up. Who's this young lad? He actually looks pretty decent. Let's scout him. Um. Yeah. So. Play them. Beat them two 0 Quite happy with this. Then play BBB Venline. Beat them 2 0, Zipkovic getting a brace there, which moves us on to NAC and beat them 3 0. And Clive just came back, and the Git got one, and Nunley got one, so quite happy with them. We then played um, FC Eindhoven. I'm reading the name underneath it, and I'm just going, what? That makes no sense. Um, we beat them 2 0 against Zipkovic and Klassen getting the goals. We then played the champ. League group stage game, we lost 4 2. It's the first time we've conceded a goal. We dominated the game. They had a, a goal within two minutes, a penalty, and he then got his hat trick. So it was just like shambles for us. I don't know what happened, it just all went to pot. That's about as much as I can say on that one. But that's the first game we've conceded a goal in this season. <laughs> it's the only game we've conceded a goal in this season because we then played like CCL, beating them 2 0, 1 0. Nunley gets injured in this one, so disappointed there. We then played PEC Zoel, beat them 2 0, so quite happy with that performance as well. And I don't know what, we've not conceded in the league, but Champions League, we've conceded 4. It's like, right, okay. So we're going to play AC Milan today and go ahead, Eagles. And I think next episode we're probably going to do the second Porto and Rotterdam game. And come back probably for the Milan one there and Feyenoord. Seems like probably the best option to go for. So we're going to jump straight into this. I've no idea what the team is because I haven't actually looked to see who's actually available. Basically everyone but none there. He's out for two to three weeks. So let's quick pick and see what it gives us. Klassen, Van Beek, Mensa's on the bench. Zay's... Probably gonna stick with that. We'll use Mensa as and when. No, we'll take Klassen off because he's tired and bring Mensa in there. I think we're gonna go for that, I reckon. Yes, we're gonna go for that. Half the team's wanted again, so that's a bit of an annoyance. But we'll deal with that. We are bottom of the league and Lockeren are the team at the top, which is not what we want to see. They're going with same formation as us. Trap. Gubert, Gomez, Marlon, Goldeding, Cranvita, Zachary, Horta, Usain Dembele, Benteke and Bonaventura. Very, very strong team. Hopefully our home advantage will give us the advantage. And really push on. We could do with getting the points here. We don't really want to finish bottom of the group. Well, we don't want to finish bottom of the group. We want to finish at least in third as... We kick off. Nothing too much to expect from this 
um, first highlight of the game. But yeah, so hopefully in the next week or so we'll, we'll get back to daily uploads and get them going again. But it's just sort of a bit of a shame sort of everything sort of happened so quickly and I wasn't able to carry on uploading straight away. But I'm back now, so I'm quite happy with that. And this game, nothing's happening. It's only 24 minutes and literally seen nothing. And come on, actually show us something at least. Usain Dembele's got a gash leg, but we got a throw in deep in the half. Van Beek, independent, uh, shoots. He's, how did he get it in from there? Um, what a lot. Hello. What a head of luscious hair. But what a strike that was from a very, very tight angle. To be able to put that into what I'm assuming is the top corner once this highlight eventually decides to load. So I find whenever it's the first highlight of a goal, it always takes forever to load. Van Beek slots it into Benga. He's got tons of space and he just hits it. Trapped, definitely disappointed too. You can see right there on this front post. But not our problem. They've gone to attacking. We're hopefully going to get in behind them. Kishner whips it in. Marlon has it, but to Van Beek, Clive it. Zivkovic shoots. He's made it too. And that was a well-worked goal. It sort of dropped down to our players eventually. And Zivkovic rifles it into the back of the net. Lovely finish by the lad. Kishner there. They had Marlon heads out, but doesn't clear it. And it's played lovely one-touch passing. Zivkovic and finds a little bit of space. Trap gets a hand to it, but can't push it far enough wide. And we're tuning up. Whew. Right. That's made this game a little bit more exciting for us. We're definitely going to be going for the three points and hopefully... And he's twisted his knee. He's coming off. He's got to come off. He's got a twisted knee. You're not running around with that, are you? Dost is coming on, though. He was a very good player, but I didn't want Zivkovic to go off injured. And it's half time, so we'll tell the lads we're happy. And they're extremely delighted. I know how you look delighted, but extremely? Don't know. As we win the ball back off Dembele, Kishner. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to get something from that. Apparently not. Porto are beating KSC. Barry hoofs it up to Clivert. Dembele's on the other side, but we've nicked the ball. He's not having a good game, so that's good for us. Lovely ball over the top, looking for Doss. Can he get in behind? No, or he does get it, but it's gone to Kishner. Three men lining up in the middle. Clivert's coming. He's cracked the crossbar. And Kishner's offside coming in for the second ball. But he cracked the crossbar from, what, five yards? They've taken Dembele off, so that's one less problem. But he's quick. They've brought on, I don't see the name of him, but we've won the ball. We're doing well to keep a hold of it. Kishner. Where's he going? Benning has got some space. He can... Run into some more. He's still going. Dost. Back to Benninger. He's having a really good game. Gives it to Clive. I thought he was going to lose it there. They're crowding out in the middle. Dost. Loses the ball. Horta clears it. But we win it back straight away. So we can go forward again. And we're playing around the back. Don't want to do too risky passing. Don't do too risky passing. Kishner does well to get past Gilbert. Into Dost. Middle. Free, free, cl free click. Free, free hit, and lovely finish by Doss there. I'm assuming that's on his left-footed volley. Bottom corner, again, Trap should be disappointed to concede at the front post, but Kishner did all the work, and looked like it had gone out of play there, but Doss has tons of space. Yes, left-foot volley, Trap should be disappointed to concede that. And we're rocking and rolling here. All right, I'm going to make some subs in a minute, because I don't know who to bring off. Goal da 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 ding I'll see what happens with this highlight. Hort is coming forward. Into Carlos Backer. And they get a free kick edge of the box. And Justy, don't go. He's on a yellow. That's okay. Depends what happens from this free kick. Bonaventure can certainly hit one. And he's hit one right into the top corner. Oh dear. <laughs> that's giving him a little bit of a way back into the game. Bonaventura whips it in, and Barry can't get across. Fair play, lovely strike. All right, what can we do? 
He's a youngster, we're not bringing him on. Probably going to bring Leo on for St. Justice because I don't want him getting sent off or anything bad like that. And Topuk, Topuk or Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum can come on for Yap and sort of freshen it up in the middle and really hopefully cause them some problems and not let them back into this game. Hopefully the fresh legs in the middle and in our back line will, as I say this, it's, I've just noticed it got to 90 minutes and that's fine by me. <laughs> Orders coming forward. We shouldn't, hopefully, can see two goals in the space of 30 seconds. Winter is coming forward. Can we win the ball off? When Adam does win the ball back, and he can bring it forward, nothing bad. Up to Clivert, into Win Adam. The Dost ahead of him. Back to Clivert, so that's fine. We're just keeping a hold of it. Into Van Beek. Mensa gets passed back here. We'd love. And there goes the final, so I thought we were going to get the chance to actually score there, but no problem whatsoever on that one. And we win the game 3-1 against a very, very strong AC Milan team, which puts us into second, equal on points with them. Just a better goal difference. Um, Lockham said they must have drew then. Where are they? They drew 2-2 two -two with Porto. Fair play. They're doing well. Zivkovic is out for 9 to 11 days. Okay, that's not as bad as those. I was expecting. And we get a couple of million for that. It's quite pleasing. So we'll jump to the Go Ahead Eagle games and I'll see you in just a moment. Right, let's get into this second game. And I don't know why it's just put Kishner up top. Dost is the striker. He's starting there. And Hassan can come on probably later on. We are sort of a little bit tired in terms of fitness, but it's not as bad as it as I was expecting. So it's bearable, we can deal with this. So let's jump into this egg, going with a 4-2-3-1. Pearson, Benoit, Greer, Schenkerval, Rutten, Vanes, Odo, Souk, Stanik, Antwi, and Hendricks. Hmm. Don't know any of the players, so let's just leave them there and go for it. Let's see how we can get on. Hopefully, we can carry on our good performance in the league and not concede. But you never know, this will be the game we do because <laughs> it'll be the live comp that will be the logic to it and we're at home so hopefully that will give us more of the impetus to go and get a good result as I was expecting the ball to come in but it's worked so we got the ball in the middle Did... it was he onside? <laughs> he must have been onside they've not waved it off but we're wadding it up within 1 minute 56 seconds but where'd that come from? Was like, why? how would Spending a lovely little work to get Kishner into a place for a better cross and he gets in front of his man and puts it into the top top corner. I'm not gonna argue it. <laughs> like, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting it. And that's quite a good way to start the game. So far nothing else has happened. But yeah, quite pleasing. And I don't really know what to talk about in this one, just trying to think of stuff to talk about. In terms of the team, quite happy with what we've got. We could do with some more players, but the ones I want to bring in are too expensive. We don't have the money to do it. Uh, I get fed up of constantly players wanting to leave. As we play the ball in and the kid's got a brace. The centre back, the young lad, has got two goals today. And Kishner set them both up. Benninger into Dost. Down to Kishner. First time crossing. Tons of space. One of three players could have got onto that. And Cummings gets a hand to it. But doesn't push it clear again. And we're 2-0 up. Wow, wow, wow. So we'll tell him we're very pleased. Uh, let's try and get some more green. A lot more to come from them. Assertively. Uh, I'm impressed. Nope, didn't do anything. We'll make some subs in a minute anyway, so we'll work it out. Kishner first is having an absolute cracking start to the season. He's, I don't know how many assists he's got, but we'll have a look after the game. And coming forward again, then Justy Benninger can uh, look at the back. Driver Dost has dropped to Kishner, he's hit the post. How did that not go in? 
after the game is had, you're expecting that to find the back of the net. Alright, let's take Mensah off, bring Leo on. Klassan can come on for Donny. And just do that for the moment. And see how they get on. As they come for Challa, Benninger, up to Clybert. Where's he going? Back into Klassan. Benninger's got some space ahead of him. He's got Kishner in the gap. He finds him. He shoots. He scores. He deserves it after the game he's had today. And that puts us 3 0 up. And lovely performance by Kishner. Two assists, three go one goal. And lovely running behind. How does run enough? And then puts it across goal into the corner. Could have pulled it back into the middle. There's two men waiting. But don't um, begrudge him going for the shot. And makes it. Three now. We're going to take Yap off and bring our top hook as well. Give him a run out and Yap a little bit of a rest. As we come forward, Dost lose it to Ojo and they're coming forward. Wally and the next player of ours is still coming forward. Leo gets in front of him and it's a blaze shot well wide. So. Should see the game out here. Kishner whips the ball in. Can Leggett get his hat trick? No, he can't. It's still Gable, he's still up there. But no, it's going to clear it out and he's had to run all the way back to his end goal. Long ball forward. It's cleared and it's through to Wallian. Where's he going? He's going to put the ball in, I'm assuming. He gets past Leggett. Out to Montree. Shoots edge of the box. Lee there. Easy save by Barry to claim it. And he hoofs it forward for Dost. Doesn't really take it down. And they're coming forward again, but it shouldn't matter. We've got about four seconds left. And that should end the game off. 3 0. Lovely little performance. Um, the, kid, the kid. I'm going to call him the kid. Because I don't know how to pronounce his name. Right. The kid. Set nickname. Kid, because I can't remember it. <laughs> it sounds like kids, so that's what I'm going for. Quite happy with that. Um, our strikers, not not anything. So all passion can no, didn't work. That one, sort of worked. Calm, pleased, didn't work. <laughs> that was helpful. That puts us nine wins out of nine, 19 goals. No, none scored against us. 27 points. We're flying in the league so far. Ben order one game behind us, or oh, two points behind, three points behind us. If I can actually do maths and work out nine wins, eight wins, and a loss is three points different. And then we've leaving a little gap between third and fifth, are all equal points and sixth, really. So we're having a very good start to this season, and very very pleasing how we're going. And let's sort of have a quick. And then we're going to come back and do the second Porto game and the Sparta Rotterdam one. Here's what I reckon we're going to do. Because that's too close at Porto. So yeah, we'll come back for the second Porto and Rotterdam game and then we'll come back for Ben or Milan again. Which seems like good options. So, if you have enjoyed guys, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. I'll see you next time for when we take on, um, did I say Porto? Porto. So, I'll see you then guys and I'll catch you later.